Having made an excellent start to the Rabo Direct Pro 12 series, Ulster went into this game having lost top spot to Glasgow and having failed to win in three of their previous four league games. Edinburgh's record wasn't impressive coming into the match on a run of 11 successive defeats in all competitions, but with the new interim coaching team of Stevie Scott and Duncan Hodge, could they turn things around? In a cagey first half, scoring chances were few and far between, although Ulster had a nervy moment in the 13th minute when Jared Payne had his clearance blocked by Ross Rennie on the try line, but fortunately for the visitors, Andrew Trimble was on hand to tidy up and nothing accrued. The first score of the game came a couple of minutes later in the 15th minute when Paddy Jackson was penalised by the referee Leighton Hodges for a high tackle on Edinburgh out-half Pierce Francis. <whistles> Francis picked himself up and dusted himself down before slotting the kick over to give the home side a 3-0 lead. On the half-hour mark, Francis had a good chance to double Edinburgh's lead after Jackson was penalised for being offside. His kick was good. That made it 6-0. But there was some relief for the visitors when they eventually got their first score on the board before half-time. Edinburgh were penalised for not releasing. And Jackson fired the ball over to make it 6-3. And that's how the sides went in at the break. After half-time, Jackson had several chances to not only level matters, but to put Ulster into the lead. But on three occasions, he failed to put the ball over the bar. The out-halves kicking came in for some criticism during the recent RBS Six Nations series, and his confidence looked fragile at Murrayfield. Those misses were amplified when Edinburgh went down the other end and got the first try of the match. It may not have been a thing of beauty, but when Stuart McAnally barged over from close range, it was a decisive moment in the match. It made it 11-3 for the home side, and it really should have been 13-3, but the relatively easy conversion was missed by Francis. There was a moment to savour for Ulster supporters in the 64th minute. A fine move by Mark Anscombe's men was rounded off when Payne slipped a neat grubber kick through, which bounced perfectly for Trimble, who dived over for the try. Jackson missed the conversion, but it was now close, Edinburgh 11-8 ahead. The closest we came to a try after that was at the end, the Scots were attacking. Francis looked certain to get over the try line and seal the win, but he was held just short and couldn't manage to get the pass away. Francis did, however, clinch the final score of the match five minutes from time. Ulster penalised in front of the posts for not releasing, and the out-half's kick was good to seal a 14-8 win. Disappointment for Mark Anscombe and his Ulster team, who did temporarily go top with the bonus point in defeat, but they would be passed out 24 hours later. For Edinburgh, the Scott Hodge era has started well, and they face Zebra next weekend. Final score at Murrayfield, Edinburgh 14, Ulster 8.